just move my chair back there we go hello guys good morning and welcome back to my channel you're joining me from the car this morning we are right outside parked outside Matalan. So many of you guys have been messaging me photos of what's new in Matalan. So I thought it is about time to head in with them having some of their autumn stock in. So I'm going to do that. You click that and it'll detail everything that's included and you just join. So there we go. Anyway, I just had a sip of this coffee then and it just took me back to like having caffeine again because they don't do decaf at McDonald's. And when I have I mean, caffeine is a drug at the end of the day. When you, you're so used to decaf coffee and you have a sip of caffeine coffee, it is good. It is good. It's just stronger. I have to open the windows. It's a bit too hot to be sat in the car without air conditioning on. In 2023 degree heat, and we're about to go autumn shopping, um, I did also get a little snack. I went for something different today. I used to get these when I first started going to McDonald's breakfast years ago. And then I just went on to McMuffins. But I went for a cheesy flatbread. Because I wasn't hungry enough. I didn't feel for a full sausage cheese McMuffin. And then also a little birthday. For their 50th birthday little donut. Well I'll have that later anyway. So I'm going to munch on this. Mm. Enjoy five minutes with my breakfast. Excuse the pinky. I don't know where that comes from, but it's just a. Whenever I drink a, a, a drink on camera and I watch it back and my pinky's like this, I'm like, who do I think I am? It's just like a natural, a natural thing, okay? It just happens. I'm trying to keep it tucked in. It's like, it, it reminds me of when you're doing your mascara on camera. Say, if you do like a get ready with me or something, doing your makeup, I'm always conscious not to go. So in my video something like this but inside I'm wanting to go anyway mmm delish okay I'm assuming I'm yet to get to the home section which is at the back there but because the autumn bits are in it means that there is lots of sale I would class this as autumn decor, you know? Farmer's market, fresh and healthy, 70% off. Oh, up to 70% off. This one has been reduced down to 9.50 with some really nice autumn flowers in there. That could be so nice. What else have we got in the sale? This is gorgeous, 12.50, 25 pound full price. Um, so half price for these, again, definitely could be an all year round thing, but also kind of styled up for autumn. Again, with some like dry pampas or some like maple leaf stems. I know the range do some really nice artificial stems. Little dog tin, is this in their sale? Yeah, nine pound for this. Although I think it usually comes with a lid, so maybe that's why it's in the sale. Again, something else from the farmer's market um range that that would look really nice in our garden even with some with some flowers in let's see how much this is six pound fifty for that is huge as well and then also these little black lanterns eight pounds i think they'd be really nice sat kind of by the garden furniture this is seven pounds this one 15 pounds really nice pot even if you wanted to take out the faux stems i think that's lovely five pound we've got some Little artichokes, a bit like the Neptune do. These wall discs, 14. Loads of sale finds. Just bought some outdoor cushions now from John Lewis, but these would be quite nice to sort of bring in during the winter months, £6.50 each. These ones are like, a, in fact, they would be nice on the fire pit chairs. And I've got two fire pit chairs. So, two pillows to go. In the trolley just seen as well next to oh in that farmer's market bucket there's a few more there there's also some stems two pound green or this kind of natural beige color it would look quite nice in these pots as a bit more i would say summer styling i would be up waiting for you if you had to leave Maybe we should hurry up and see. 
how gorgeous is this cushion? I saw it online. Um, it's £13. It is really, really pretty. And I didn't realise online, but it's got this kind of like beading on just a couple of the pumpkins. So yeah, really pretty. It's just a plain kind of like linen on the other side. The only thing is, is the inner would need replacing if you want like a nice choppable feather inner. So for £13, I'm, oh, do I get it on buy an inner or do I leave it? I'm not sure. I'm decided on that one. Really, oh, in fact, oh. I think I might get one, you know. I've also got these cute little set of three ceramic pumpkins. I love this little fleece throw as well. This one's only seven pounds. They've got some in Asda that I quite like that I might get. I like to get a seasonal fleece throw like this for Barney's bed. Got some really nice kind of like almost water oil painting designs with the Hello Autumn. Oh, that's pretty. I love that. It's like a green khaki green on that side and then more colorful on that side yeah i think i've seen online that they do a doormat that's really pretty as well 850 is this popre or oh, no it's a light up led ceramic pumpkin at 850 as well we keep a draft excluder in our bedroom and i'm thinking it's just like a plain linen but do we switch it out for a, an autumn one or is that a bit too excessive really pretty though i kind of don't love the toadstool trend though so I'm thinking maybe if they didn't have them on I'd prefer it. They've also got a few Halloween bits out with the cushions and bedding and you may remember recently I picked up a ghost cushion from HomeSense. It's a bit bigger than this one but I paid £19.99 for it and this one is only £8. Um, it is like I said smaller but cute. And also a lot of you said that that ghost cushion is too good of a cushion to go on Barney's bed. So maybe he could have this little guy. What do we think? What's this then? Is this an acorn? Storage basket, £12. Yeah, acorn. I was thinking, am I right in saying acorn? But yeah. So it could be a little seasonal piece. Not sure where I'd put it. And obviously if you didn't want the lid on all year round, it takes it from autumn acorn decor. To just all year round little storage basket you know that's actually quite a good size to fit maybe four or five toilet rolls in to have in a downstairs loo oh it's been so long since i've been in here i haven't seen any of this crockery Ooh, pumpkin mug that's definitely not meant to be there they have got a little mushroom toadstool one and also this is new this year um quite sticking with the neutral vibes which again i like but again stools everywhere. I don't hate them. I just, I prefer just the pumpkins, I think, and leaves. And then what else? So yeah, this kind of like scalloped edged crockery. This reminds me of the ones that you get at Zara Home where they're a bit more irregular shaped. This is huge. <laughs> Verging on being big enough for like a soup bowl. We've also got the matching three pack of tea towels where you've just got a plain blue one on the middle and then this kind of beige one. I wish... I could maybe get just that one and this one and maybe a different design, but they always do that, don't they? Just like a plain, boring, standard one as a third option. This is more like Easter decor, I would say, or spring, summer. Yeah, here we are. That's the doormat that I've seen that I have spotted online that I was going to get, so I'll pick that up. But they've also got a couple of other designs. Well, they've got a really nice Hello Autumn one back there as well. I've not seen that one online. These little baskets, these are £10. Again, could be good for like a little fruit basket or some seasonal decor in autumn. Love that mug. Hello Autumn, just nice and simple. Burnt orange, £5 pumpkins. And then they also do this um, mug with a little tea caddy. Kind of want to get some more of these jars for our pantry, but um, they've only got two sizes here. I wanted some bigger ones. Um, so I might pop to B&M for those. If you prefer the more colourful, they've got this range of tea towels, £5 and oven glove, £5. I love this kitchen double tiered. What even is this? Two tier fruit basket. It's a lot of fruit, you've got to have to fill that, but obviously you could just use it for anything um, in the kitchen section. £15. These little baskets which are stackable. So we have some in our pantry like this where we have like open shelf storage. 
for those kind of bits. Egg basket, oh that is cute, a little egg basket. Um, two tiered, what's this one? They describe this as just a two tier basket with that wooden handle again. And then this range of tins for biscuits. Again, I just love the font of it. Really, really nice for in your kitchen. Um, set of three canisters for twelve fifty. This one's six fifty, and then the bread bin as well, which is really nice at fifteen pound. has been a while since I've been in here so I'm not sure how new these are but they are new to me anyway I've not seen them these new um, designs for the pet range the dog food tins are 16 pounds which include a scoop there's not much that could fit in there though for Barney's food I have one about four times that size but if you've got a smaller dog um, then that could be really good or even because it just says pet pet company could be for cat food as well these little bowls, pulls off the cute little treats. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a new design that I've not seen before. They also do in that same design, a little pet toy basket for nine pounds. via Aldi just quickly to pick up a couple of bits for lunch but also I stocked up on some cupboard essentials in case anyone else like me likes like a just a typical girl dinner aka Tom probably wouldn't eat any of these well actually he would but as a meal with other things whereas girl dinner I would just have the packet with like a bit of grated cheese cottage cheese something like that or even tuna sometimes mixed in so they do lots of these kind of like grains and packets of rice and things I love the egg fried rice um, which I did stock up on a few packets of. I just think Aldi do such a big range of these kind of like long life cupboard essentials. From the whole, no sorry, Worldwide Foods it's called. This whole grain rice, quinoa, pumpkin and sunflower seeds. And there's also this one that they do. They're also really good with um, like high protein. So this one is pesto infused grains. I thought this one sounded really nice again, just on its own. Like they have with that image, just sprinkled a bit of uh, feta cheese on top. Two of those, because I think I'm gonna really like that one. And then another one of the whole, oh, why do I keep saying whole? Worldwide food. Sorry, you're a bit low there. I feel like my head's just chopped off. I'm just talking to you like this. This dress, by the way, I got a compliment on in Aldi. A lady was like, I love your dress. I was like, thanks. It's just so floating comfy. It's like a light green linen dress from Zara, which I think I got this last year, two years ago, I'm not sure. Lastly, Worldwide Foods, special whole grain rice and quinoa. Have I already told you that? No, that one was rice, quinoa, pumpkin, and some class seeds. This is just rice and quinoa. I don't think Tom's home tonight for dinner, so I might be having that with just a bit of grated cheese. And this one is the 50% lighter cheddar, long shelf life on these ones, so they're just good to keep in the cupboard. Dried pasta, but instead of just a regular pasta, they're made from um, red lentil and beetroot, fusilli, this one. So they're, again, really good source of getting in that extra protein, whereas normal pasta, you just wouldn't get that. So I got that, and then I also got the green pea penne. I've had the green pea before, uh, but I've never tried the red lentil and beetroot. And I think that'll be really nice. Gluten-free, high in fiber, high in protein. Per serving, you get, wow, 24 grams of protein. This one is 22 grams of protein per serving. So yeah, really good to get that extra protein in, especially if someone, if you're like me, don't eat that much meat. So especially if I'm just having dinner by myself, I would never think to like cook chicken for myself ever. So yeah, that's my little Aldi haul. I do actually have a video that I need to edit today and I want to get, a, I've got a bit of install footage for my members channel in Matala, so I'm gonna get that live now so that it's, again, real time. Still sipping on my coffee, which is quite warm. Mm. 
delish. So I'm gonna get on with some editing. I'll show you how I store these packets. Not that this is the most riveting content, but who doesn't love a bit of organizational kitchen storage? I don't just mind Barney, I've just given him some of his breakfast. I gave him some sardines, which is that bowl earlier today as like a morning treat. Um, so a bit of a delayed breakfast, but he's munching down on his food there. Within this cupboard, I tend to keep the rice packets, as you can tell, I was, oh, mind you, I didn't probably need as much egg fried rice as I've got, because I've already got three, but yeah, I like to just use these plastic containers that they're easily, you can pull out from, I think I got these ones from B&M. My little butter dish is in here, my eggs are in here, these are, from Neptune and Home Sense. And then we have a couple of packeted rice. We've got, this is actually chickpea pasta, again, really high in protein and more of a meal for me, whereas that's just regular fusely, which there's not that much left. Some lentils, and this is another one that I like. This one's from Holland and Merit, again, it's that green pea tagliatelle, this one. So I'll just pop those extra pastas in there, but if I've got any other jars, then I'll just decant them. And then whilst we're there, talking of jars, this is what I want to do more of, you see. This is my other cupboard storage. So that should be in there. In fact, no, that's oats. They can go, well, I'll just put them in there for now as spare oats. We've got flour. Need to give this a bit of a hoover. Um, corn flour and more flour bits, baking bits, some random little bits that I add on to breakfast like goji berries, um, some almonds in there, some cereals and porridge. They're just wee to some porridge in there. And then this section here, which has all my jars, flour, plain flour self-raising, sugar, chia seeds, oats. These are good for like these breakfast options. We've got some uh, sultanas, raisins, pumpkin seeds, walnuts, coconut. Obviously, as you can tell, there's plenty of space within that. So I could add a few extra jars in there. And I could even, because there's quite a lot of space down here. This is just like a little bread basket. I could even move that basket down here and have just two baskets down here side by side and have some more jars up here for um, decanting, like I said, these, like the beetroot pasta and stuff that I've just bought so that they can be within jars. And then down here, within these containers, which are just from B&M, just like stocks, pickles, jams, syrups, that kind of thing. This, guys, is delicious. This one's a fresh, unopened one from M&S. This is the hazelnut cream. It's like the inside of a Kinder Bueno. So, so yum. Nice to pop within baking or even just have a spoonful of, I'm not gonna lie. Good morning, it's now the next day. I always feel like I look, look a little crazy before I've brushed out my curls. Um, I've just used the GHD Curve this morning just to add a little curl into my hair and I'm just gonna run through, run through some Moroccan oil through the ends, but I always like to just curl it and then not brush them through straight away just to allow them to cool a little bit first but they're probably about ready now to run some oil through and pop a little bit of uh hairspray so let's go into the bathroom now where can i put you because i was just going to show you this oh this is a very dangerous <laughs> you're on a wong i don't know why I ask any youtuber why we don't just grab a tripod. <laughs> Why we have to make shift the tripod each time. But anyway, um, yeah, this is the Moroccan oil that I'm gonna use. I have been loving the purple one, but I just, uh, that was just like for away a little travel size. Um, so I've got about that much left of this one that I've just, you know, it's just in my bathroom drawer. So I've just been going back to this, but one pump of that. Um, but yeah, I do think in future I might by the purple one. Um, but the thing is, these just last for ages. So I'll be on this one for a while and then I've still got a couple of sort of travel sized ones that I could use up in my kind of like beauty drawer in the other room where I keep all my kind of extra beauty bits. In fact, I think I could do with probably going through that soon and any kind of like duplicates or unopened things or things that I don't think I'm gonna use. I might give away to channel members shortly. So if you're not already a channel member and you want to be included within that kind of thing, you just have to join the membership and then I'll just post as and when I've got bits that I um, want to just post out to you guys and just kind of not, not run it as like a giveaway, but more as a 
does anyone want this? Let me know. But yeah, that's all I do. Just brush it through with my fingers and then pop a little bit of dry shampoo, especially as I haven't had any color in my hair for a while. And it probably is going to be a while. I could get a bit of a temporary color done, um, but I think I might just wait. Basically, my hairdresser is on maternity. She had a baby just after my last appointment, so she is not gonna be going back to hairdressing, I don't think, for another month or so. So we're gonna have a bit of a long break between hair sessions for me, but I'm okay with that, I think. Well, for now I am anyway. I do feel a bit darker in the root, but that's why I always like to just spritz a bit dry shampoo. And the only main difference for me is more the fact that when my uh, blonde starts to grow out and the roots come through is n like the blend I'm happy with and the look, it's just that it tends to get greasier quicker. I, I can't get away with like a wash once a week. Once, I used to usually do one to two a week when I've just had it done. Otherwise now it's more like two it's definitely twice a week and quite often I'll do slick back looks or like hair up because it only really lasts nice for a day. In fact, even by the end of this video, my hair might even be up in a ponytail or something. Um, but anyway, we are just getting ready this morning to head to meet a couple of friends for a dog walk. I have no idea what these girls it, you'll know a lot of people know them Lydia one of my best friends and um from what and what we we meet but usually when we meet we meet for things like a lunch or something so we're maybe in nicer clothes because we're meeting for a bit of a walk and we're going to Didsbury and I'm taking Barney and I know he'll be swimming I'm just thinking like leggings t-shirt this around my waist in case it gets a bit chilly but knowing these two girls, they're going to be dressed much nicer than me. So I think I might just embrace it, just go with this. Take some my walking trainers and if they look amazing, which I know they will, so be it. I'm really excited to see the girls and I think we're going to meet at Didsbury or around Gales. So we might go grab a lunch at Gales or just grab something and go either sit in or maybe somewhere else. I'm not sure. We'll just decide when we get there. So I'm meeting them in a couple of hours. I think we've got gardeners in today. We've definitely got electricians in today. They're fitting and sorting some lights out on the front. Um, and I, I don't know if they're getting around to the ones at the back. They're just waiting for the outdoor kitchen to be built up a little bit more before they do the lighting in the garden, I think. Unless they're doing some today, I don't know. Um, but anyway, this was what you were stood on. This little bath salts, so I got that from home since, but I'll pop it back, back on my bath train for now. See you guys in about an hour or so when we go for a nice Nice little cloudy walk today because the sun, unfortunately, is not shining, but it's a bit of a relief from the sun, if I'm honest with you. I do quite like a bit of a break from the sunny days. home home sweet home we went via gales we had a nice coffee and a good catch up for a good few hours so it was nice to see the girls and um i had a little walk as well but yeah i just grabbed this for some late lunch to have now that i'm back home and what did we go for gales order of the day yet again using another makeshift tripod and this time with a vase turned upside down there we go. Anyway, yes, I was right. The girls looked amazing and I was in full on dog walking clothes, but we're all good. We're all friends here. Um, but I should never doubt them. They always are gonna look amazing. But we have decided actually next time, I think we're gonna do a, like a Pilates meet and maybe breakfast, which could be fun all morning. But in terms of my lunch order for the day, went for this ricotta cake that they do. Um, ricotta and strawberry, it's delicious. I did also get Tom a cookie and I got myself a salad. This is my favorite one that they do, the beetroot, lentil and goat's cheese. They do a few different ones, but Lydia and I both went for that one. Delicious. So I'm just gonna enjoy that for the next hour or so, get on with some emails and then I will show you guys what I got from Matalan yesterday. Oh, you need to be higher. We're back with the makeshift <laughs> tripod. <laughs> 
There we go. Right, let's bring the bags over, shall we? And show everybody what we've got. It's gone a little bit chilly. Dare I say it? Autumnal feeling. <laughs> In fact, even on our walk, we were saying it feels colder. <laughs> There's definitely a chill in the air. I do still think we'll end up having a summer heat wave. September we always seem to, and it's still, we're in August. There's still definitely some summer sunshine here in the UK to come, but for today, and for me showing you these items right now, for me it feels perfect. So I firstly got this cushion, which I showed you in store. I couldn't leave it, I thought, it felt a bit steep, I'm not gonna lie, 13 pounds for this, but it is a really pretty design and I loved the added beading and I will switch out the insert. I find the best inserts for this size, what is it, 50 by, no, 45 by 45 maybe, it doesn't say. Um, the best inserts I have found, which is where these are from, are the brand Yusk, J-Y-S-K, and there's one in, um, Stockport, that's my closest one I think. I think they've got a really good one in Oldham. If you're local to Oldham, let me know. I'm pretty sure I'm right in saying that. But anyway, yeah, really, really pretty. I'll just show you the beading a bit closer up so you can see. It's not on every pumpkin, just the odd, the odd one. My nails, how like long are these naturally? For me anyway, these are naturally quite long. This shade, I redid them last night. This is one of my favourite, all-time favourite shades from OPI, the gel polish in the shade Tiramisu for two. I just think it's a really nice, natural nude. I'll try and find one and leave it linked below um, so that you can shop it if you want. But yeah, really, really pretty nude shade. So I redid these last night and yeah, my nails for me anyway are looking quite long. So happy about that. And then let's move on to this which I did go for I thought I can't I know it's in the summer sale section but I can't resist this as a bit of awesome decor I think with a nice bunch of dried flowers they'd look really nice at autumn in fact spring and summer as well even as decor outside within the garden as a little kind of like urn shaped like not urn churn like a milk churn with some white flowers in, in the garden. Again, in summertime would be nice. But yeah, I thought this, with the whole farmer's market, it actually made me think more autumn. So, 9 50 in the sale. We did buy that. I also bought uh, the doormat. I know they had a few to choose from, but I thought this was unlike any that I've had previous years. And it is, as you can tell, in the shape of pumpkins it's not just your stereotypical rectangular doormat that says hello autumn it's actually filled with some pumpkins and again not too garish just like a nice burnt dark orange that with some pumpkins sat next to it at halloween and this is the sort of thing that i'll probably get out more towards halloween mind you it's autumn it says hello autumn yeah i kind of do autumn decor over stages it's not like i have one day where i put everything out I put a few things out that could be out all year round but kind of have an autumn feel like candles as well I start burning them quite early but then decorating the door basically the area that people are going to see <laughs> I wait until maybe the end of September and then October is Halloween month and I never go crazy for Halloween decor but I do love I do love Halloween as a season. I just think you can't... Oh my gosh. Look at my legs, I'm gonna stand up. Oh, this is just annoying. Can you see all the doormat fuzz? I'm actually gonna go and brush that off outside. I also did get a couple more cushions which I spotted and saw and thought of the fire pit chairs outside. I just went with the two at 6.50, so nearly half price. They were 12 pound originally. The head cushions that I've got to go with them are this material here and this color here, so I thought they'd tie in quite nicely. Maybe even in here, all year round, unless we go out on the fire pit. 
and then we could take them outside they look quite nice there don't they so or on a bed i mean they're that small that we could even store those away in fact there's a basket here that i keep in this room and this is screaming cushion storage so yeah they could even go in there if we didn't want them out on this sofa i also picked up another one of these the old one that we had is just beyond use <laughs> they're only two pound fifty and same with this as well we have just one large of these plastic measuring jugs which we use all the time so the fact that this one came in a little set for three pounds i thought i would get rid of and replace the old one for some reason it's got a lot of staining on the bottom it's that material though isn't it you're better off probably buying glass if you don't want that this is me telling myself but i've bought it now but anyway three pound for this set also just a bit of a boring purchase but we needed some more sellotape and then last but not least i got this bath mat for any of the bathrooms however i do think my bathroom the main bathroom this would work best in because of the colors of the tiles being this color i did come home to a parcel that i opened and took upstairs but i thought for those of you that like to see the little pr openings that i get oh it's a good time to be alive slippers for the cozy season that's up and coming although these are good for this time of the year because they're more slider style so emu australia we've got some cozy white slider slippers and they're just so so soft i haven't tried them on yet but i can't wait to have some fresh slippers cozy pajamas and you know what it's making me in the mood for especially with the weather being like it is outside today movie night also just quickly can you see what the electrician has been doing today they're actually on already i think they're just on a temporary timer thing until he comes back to finish the rest but can you see these where's my finger there these little lights lighting up the trees and obviously the wires will get buried under the gravel but um, yeah, how exciting. We've had the front lit up as well, so the driveway looks really nice. And the kitchen um, is coming along quite nicely, as you can see there. It's pretty much built up to the height it's going to be now. We're obviously having this as the fireplace, so the, there'll be like a built up kind of chimney section up here. And then we're going to have some units and worktop along either side. But for now, that's how we are looking on the... Uh, kitchen garden front still awaiting delivery of my chair from john lewis that's missing but that should be coming in fact i was going to say there's only six chairs i can count there there's a, one hidden i wonder why they've moved that over there i'm going to move that back so it's away from the bird poop um but yeah new chair being delivered this uh tomorrow actually it's being delivered tomorrow and those if you didn't know what i was talking about those chairs over there they are going to be the chairs that I'll pop the Matalan cushions on as you can see you might be able to see there they've both got little hessian head cushions on but the Matalan cushion will just kind of sit in the seat part of the little fire pit area but have a lovely rest of your day guys I hope you have had a good one so far and I am sending you all of the love and well wishes thank you so much for subscribing do like this video if you enjoyed it and I will hope to see you all very very soon in my next video Bye, guys.